Bless God to our speaker of the night. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus and to all you sweet saints in Christ. Accept a night. Greet and let me hear your praise the Lord. Amen. Let me hear your magnify the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tonight coming under a wonderful team. Bless God. Mercy should be given despite the offense. Let me hear your praise the Lord. Amen. And it remind me about the God when he was about to be crucified. Let me hear your praise the Lord.
want to use wisdom tonight. I don't want to wear your patience. But I want you to just bear with me for you have any clock in? No, no clock in here. No clock. <laughs> just for a few minutes. And I I promise you I'll be getting out of your face. Whenever you are called to speak, one must learn to exercise the ups. And that's what I want to do tonight. And the ups are you get up, you speak up, and you shut up. So I exercise one already and I'm in number two. I get up and I'm speaking up. In a few minutes from now, I will be shutting up. Amen. Amen. The right to declare how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Um, the thing tonight Mercy should be given despite the offense. And that's Genesis 4 and verse 15. And I think all of us in here is able to recite a story of Cain and Abel. And because we have known this story so well, it is even better for me not to take five minutes because it doesn't make sense going over what we already know. Amen. Amen. So it's so easy for me. But tonight I want to be on the quiet side. I want us to be on the quiet side and we can sit in here and we sit in here just like the weaknesses. You know, you have to go close to hear them. And so sometimes we have to just do that. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that self will be crucified and you will be glorified. I pray God that you will arise and the enemies scatter. I pray God that you will authorize me to speak. Thus said the Lord. With clarity and authority. Let your word go forth, not my word. Not what I want to speak, but what you want your people to hear. So I ask right now that you touch my entire intellect and use me in whatever way you please. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I came by tonight and I did have an idea of the thing. And it says, mercy should be given despite the offense. But when you try to analyze the thing, brothers and sisters, one must first analyze that it's either it is going to be a statement or it's going to be an opinion. Oh, you better work with me so I can close in a few minutes. You might be asking why did you say that, Mr. Preacher? But that is in the form of a sentence. 
and it can be either an opinion or a statement. Yeah? Amen, amen. Hey. If you said to Mr. Preacher yes. that that is a statement, then I will just take you to one passage. Yes. And I think that would be um, Numbers chapter 15. And somewhere I think it's verse 32 somewhere there that said while the Israelites were in the wilderness they were commanded to keep the Sabbath you better talk to me I said I want to be on the quiet side and in those commandments what was that are restrictions then what was that one should not have left their dwelling on the Sabbath day yes. or else they should be put Amen. to death. Amen. Uh -huh. That's why you have to ask the Sabbath keeper which Sabbath you keep. But if you're keeping the Old Testament Sabbath, you're supposed to put it to death. I somebody help me. I, I, I'm, I, I'm closing. I'm closing in a few minutes. A man was found picking up sticks to prepare himself a morsel. He was apprehended, taken before the council. And the requirement from Almighty God was that he must be put to death. And he was put to death. Yes. Well, you better talk to me. Yes. Mercy should be given despite the offense. Yes. No, you would give mercy, but at that point in time, God said, kill him. Yes. Because he desecrates the Sabbath. Can I talk like this? Yes. But what was bear in mind that this God that we are talking about, yes. he said, I'm a God yes. that kills yes. and I make a life. I'm closing in a few minutes. See, I'm trying hard not to open the book. Mm -hmm. So then, if it is an opinion, then we would know or feel that whatever the offense is, God have mercy on us. So we should have mercy on others. But if you're going to talk about the God that I knew yes. when he said kill, he may kill. Yes. Yes. You better talk to me. Yes. Because there are some offenses that provoke Almighty God. Yes. And yes, you would forgive. Yes. But the creator of heaven and earth said to destroy. Yes. You better talk to me. What did he say to Ma 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 Amalekah? What did he say to, to Saul? To kill the Amalekites. He said, not even the suckling no less. Mm -hmm. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? So then, one must understand, brothers and sisters, you cannot just approach a theme on one side. Talk to me. You have to be able to approach the theme from the negatives and to the positive. So it can either be an opinion or a statement. But tonight I want to step away from your opinion. And I want to look at the statement and 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 and, and as the spirit led me, I'm going to be close. Yes. Amen. I think I said that already a few times. I'm closing, but you can't get me to close until he said to shut up. Analyze 
in the scripture from Genesis 4 and 15. And I want to draw some references. And you might see me with a book. I'm getting old. So I don't retain everything. So I make jackings. Because when I'm talking, I want to make sure of what I'm talking. Do you understand that? And I think some years ago, I was listening to the apostle. And I can remember one statement that was made by him. And he asked the congregation if everybody in there have a smartphone. And most people said yes. And the pastor said to them, if you don't have the Bible on your phone, it is not that smart. I want to use it tonight because if you don't have the Bible on it, it's not smart. And I'll add to that, and if you don't have credit in it, it's not that smart. And if you don't have no plan, it's not that smart. So if you have a smartphone, you think you have a smartphone and going around and stealing other people are getting hot spot. It's not that smart. Are you only using to take picture because of the picture quality? Still not that smart. Amen, Amen everybody. Amen. The reference that I want to draw with you to mind tonight, get out your smartphone. You understand? You get them all. You have them all. And we are going to be Googling. So if you don't have any Google, that's where that. Hmm? What do you have so far? Still can't find something down, so? Holy good. I want us to, before you go to that, Go to 1 Samuel chapter 1. 2 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 18. So somebody got to read that for me quickly. 2 Samuel 1 and verse 18. Also, he made them teach the children of Judah mm -hmm. the use of the power. Mm -hmm. Behold, he is written in the foundation. Which book? Which book? Joshua. The book of Joshua. Alright. So that means our book named Joshua, right? Yes, sir. Alright. Look at Joshua. Joshua chapter 10 and verse 13. 10 and verse 13. You see, we are taking our time and like the witnesses. And the sun still and Uh-huh, isn't is not this written in the book of Jasheria so the Jasha. Son, Jasha. Jasha. Uh -huh. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and he said not to go down upon a whole day. When you say written in the book of Joshua, right? So I'm here then in Joshua. Alright. Uh, I just want you to get that. I'm, I'm losing. I, I, I'm closing. I, I'm closing. I'm closing. We don't know what they, 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 the Roman Catholic did. We know that they tamper with the Bible, and so they take out a few books out there, well, and, and it causes us to be a little misunderstanding somewhere there. Whatever mind, when we look at this thing, and it says mercy should be given, so we understand that we're coming from the book of Genesis. And the Bible says that uh, Cain rose up against Abel and slew him. And when he thought that everything was all right, because nobody had seen him, relaxing somewhere, Forgetting that God's eyes 
was somewhere watching in the midst of no time. God want to have a dialogue with King. Uh-huh. And what God did, God came down to have a talk with King. But if you would follow the book of Joshua, it would have mentioned that Cain and Abel have their cultivation between beside each other. I want to talk to you. Time would have failed me to get down to that, but I'm going to bring to you something. But because of the jealousy that was in Cain, Pertaining to the gifts that were being offered. Can't start carrying a grudge. You better talk to me. It's like some of us tonight. It's like some of us tonight. You don't love to give. But you love to receive. Uh-huh. And when God start to bless people that freely give and freely receive, you not get nothing so you don't like it. Mm-hmm. And because of this kind of jealousy then, bad mind rose up in the camp. And the Bible helped me to understand that, that, that one day, Abel's animal mm-hmm. went into Cain's vineyard. Oh, you better talk to me. I, I could turn over the book tonight if I have the time I could show you. Destroy Cain's cultivation. And Cain gets so angry because he never liked him already. And they have a confrontation. Oh, God, help me. And from this confrontation, Cain killed Abel. And God relax as if nothing had happened. The unseen eyes, which is Almighty God, decided to have a talk with Cain. God came down and have a talk with Cain just by asking him a question. Where is your brother? Let me let me just cut it quick. Let me cut it quick. Let me cut it quick. Cut it quick. But he was so fierce, blatant, and in the front. Am I my brother's keeper? Yeah, you can answer that way because you know what you have done. Oh, you better talk to me. And God said you might not be your brother's keeper, but your brother blood cried from the ground. Now help me up somebody. One would have asked how can the blood cry when it's just but liquid substance. But the Bible said the blood is the life of our flesh. You help me out. And because the blood is the life of all flesh, one blood dream, life gone. And so God said to Cain, your blood and blood crying from the ground because I got seed and I hear it. God didn't have to ask Cain anything because it's an unknown God. I'm going to be closing soon tonight. But while God was having a dialogue with Cain and God decided, so watch your Cain. You know what the penalty is, you know, because from this day forward, you could have till the ground, till you till you can't till the soil no more. The ground will not yield any crop for you. You better talk to me. And, and you shall be banished from this place. And, and Cain said, Do Lord, because if you send me where you will they find me, them I will kill me. Can somebody help me tonight? And God said, I'm going to put a mark on you. I, God, will prevent that. No man can kill him because I'm going to put a mark on you. But God wanted Cain to live. Why? And why God put a mark so no one can kill Cain? Because God knew that within Cain there was another. 
Lord that man coming uh, help me a whole bit. God knew that we didn't gain a life giver is coming. Oh, you better help me in Holy Ghost. In spite of the offenses, there's something good in every bad man. Can I come to the church? Can I close this tonight? It is not the report that the enemy has about you. Whose report do you believe? Is it God's report? It is not what man said you do, but it's what God says you do. This is not what man charge you for, but what God charge you for. Can somebody give God some praise? And I'm closing here tonight. Uh, but God said to kill. Nobody can kill. I'm me name God. Uh, when me mark you. All enemy must stay away from you. Become man crush you down. But me they keep you up. Because you still serve purpose. And nobody can kill purpose. Anything that God wants to keep alive. You better stay away from it. That's why Isaiah says. No weapon that comes against you shall ever prosper. And every tongue that rises in judgment shall be condemned. Because God has a mark on your life. And when God has a mark on your life, you must understand that you must go to trials and tribulation. I hear the hymnology say, some through the water, some through the blood, some through the fire, but all through the blood, some through great sorrows, but God needs a song in the night season, and all the day long, I stop by to tell you, when you're going through your waters, it shall not overflow you. When you're going through your fire, you shall not be burned. Talk to me, somebody. Give your neighbor a high five and say, I might be banished, but God still have a mark at me. I might be cast out, but God still have me back. Can I talk to somebody? When God have your back, no demons in hell. When God have your back, no camp on nanny. When God have your back, no big bad wolf. When God have your back, no dirty camcara. When God have your back, they could have hoof. When God have your back, they could have proof. But they can't blow you down. Because on Christ, the solid rock I stand.
way look at it. But when God showed me, that's what God showed me. I don't know how they look at you, but all that they can see was way back in your past. They're looking beyond the mark that God placed on you. And every time that you open your mouth, all they can tell you, remember when you used to. But that's my past And for me to move forward I have to forget the past And look forward To the prize that await me Somewhere up in glory That's why I said you might sow in tears But a day coming When you shall reap in joy That's why the psalmist said Cry on, old soldier for weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy come back in a while. But all that they can see, I can't the murderer. But somewhere on the inside, God is seeing something else. Mercy, I hear the hymn of the 
Jesus. If King was to come tonight, uh, a lot of us in here would not have pardoned him. Oh, watch her, watch her, watch her. Because what must be understand? The scripture is technical. Because the very scripture says, a man that shed innocent blood deserves for his blood to be shed. Can I talk like this?
Amen. Don't watch your name, Zach Mocky. Don't let them crush. Let them hope. Don't let them poof. Yes. Yes. You can't imagine. If Ken was here, I don't know why you go. Church would be nice. Because 
I'm going to be closing to you. I think I'm going to be closing to you. You could have off. Mighty God. I don't have a straw. Oh my God. Right there. I don't have a stick house. I still don't have a brick house. Because the wolf may hold. I blow a straw and stick. He might can't blow the brick. When the earthquake comes, the leg of the mighty shaking.
tonight. If you're the host tonight. And you know within yourself. I don't care how much you labor. Because we need some mercy. Stand to your feet. Tonight. 